This is a video to show that it is, it is possible to set up a Cortex Gyro so that in a three position switch it is in the off mode and then either gyro mode or hold mode with two different gain values. Preferably you would want to do this in gyro mode. I don't know that the hold mode would benefit from two separate gain values. So for example, on a three position switch in the bottom position the gyro would be off. Position one, the gyro would have low gain. Position two, the gyro would have high gain. Uh, I have it set up here on my bench again for ease of seeing the light on the cortex and how the servos move. Right now, it is set up on a three position switch, auxiliary two, so that in position zero, the cortex is in uh, gyro, gyro mode, and in the middle position, the cortex is off, and in the this position, position two, the cortex is in gyro mode. To accomplish the ability to have the cortex only work in one mode with two different sets of gains and off, it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of adjusting your sub trims. So first off, this is a DX9 radio. Uh, GR radios would be the same. The top radios would be a little bit different but you understand how to program your Fatal Radio, or you can do the same things that I'm doing on my Spectrum Radio here. I'm going to go into the servo setup. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to reverse this channel, because, again, I want the gyro to have two separate gain values, not the rate mode to have two separate gain values. So I reverse the channel, you can see now the Cortex in the position closest to me is in the heading hold mode. This is off, and this is the regular gyro mode. I'm gonna come back here to the travel adjust, and I am going to adjust this gain down until I reach about 40. And then I'm going to go back here to my sub trim menu. And I'm going to take the sub trim and move it until As you saw here on the Cortex, it already fell out and went to the off mode before you reached 0%, but again, I just like to make sure that this is reading 0. So now, as I flip the switch, it's going to go from the 0, which is the Cortex off, to a midpoint on my auxiliary 2 channel which happens to be 40%, which tra corresponds with the travel number that I did here earlier, of 40. And then now this one here is at 140. Now, a word of warning, to set it up this way is a little trickier than the normal way you would do it, because in the normal way you would do it, you would never have more than 100% gain due to the fact that your travel is on your servos is set at 100%, but because I've adjusted the bottom end of the switch and adjusted my sub trim over, the position switch now in the high position is 140. I highly recommend that before you ever fly the model for the first time, you come back now after adjusting your travel on the low end and then adjusting your sub trim. I would turn this down so you see a value here in your monitor closer to the 70s. So here is 40, here is off. So 40 and 70. You don't want to fly with this at the 100% rate, or if you do, you want to make sure you'll be able to flip the switch back quickly because at 100% you're probably going to have oscillations in your plane. But to show you that it works here on the bench, I'm going to set this back to 100%. 
so it exaggerates the servo movement. And you can see that this three position switch does in fact work. So here now the Cortex is off. It is in rate mode. And again, still in rate mode. We have no stabilization in the off position. We have stabilization now in position one. I'll demonstrate the aileron because it's a little easier to see. The aileron is set up for the servo. As you can see in position one, it's moving slightly. I'll flip to the higher gain and you can see it's now moving more and it is moving quicker. Again, not as much movement, a little slower, no movement. So this is how you would set up the Cortex. So it would work on a three position switch and you would have two sets of gains, a low gain and a high gain in your gyro mode or rate mode. Another word of caution when doing this, you have to be careful because there comes a point when you're setting up this three position switch for JR and spectrum radios that when the value gets close enough, it believes, the radio believes it's adjusting the same thing. See how on my auxiliary two switch channel, it's now bracketing the both 40 and 60% because it feels that any adjustments in the low point area is going to adjust the same, both the high and low point. And then if I flip to the middle position, it'll now separate out my high point, and then the high point is still separated out. So for JIR and Spectrum radios, it gets to be a point where the values get close enough that it thinks you're wanting to adjust the same thing. It's similar to having your throttle set at like mid stick seeing how it's adjusting both now. To fix this, just make sure you adjust one end and then adjust the other end first. So when you do it this way, you're gonna have to make sure that you set your low gains first and that you're happy with your low gains and then you have to adjust down your high gains and adjust your high gains back up. Also, is a point where the high gains will kind of mash. So here I've adjusted the high position switch footing so that it's the same as 40. So now there's no difference between one and two, and then the gyro goes off. This is how I would suggest you start setting up your high rates. Is after you set up your low rates, you set your high rate switch to start at the same place as your low rates, and then slowly crank it up from there until you get oscillations and then you stop. So here for example it is zero off. Low rates has 40, higher has 65. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you very much.